Justice Philomena Mwilu is arguably the second most popular justice after Martha Koome as far as face value is concerned. Why is this the case? Because she's made the headlines a number of times in her judicial career. There's the time her driver and bodyguard got shot. There's the time she was arraigned on court on some charges about corruption. That was basically the Jubilee government retaliating against her because she nullified, or rather she was part of the bench that nullified Uhuru Kenyatta's victory in 2017. But despite all that, I personally think she really needs to recuse herself from the ongoing petition at the Supreme Court. Why do I say this? Wafula Chebukati's sworn affidavit that he submitted to the Supreme Court has laid bare some very interesting facts that I would like to share with you. Now, according to Wafula Chebukati, on the 15th of August, 3 a.m., he states that he was visited by Raphael Tuju, Amos Wako, the former Attorney General, and lawyer Chalo Mbobu. And by the way, the 15th of August is no ordinary day. This is the very day that Wafula Chibukati was going to announce the results of the presidential race, him being the presidential returning officer. I believe that fell in his docket. Now, before we analyze the ramification of this particular statement from Wafula Chibukati, if you're here for the first time, hit the subscribe button. If you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Wafula. I'll be the first one to pop up. Hit the subscribe button and you're going to be getting a ton more content of this nature. If politics is something you're really passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really need to subscribe to. All right, so Afula Chibukati is claiming that he was visited by Tuju, Wako, and Mbobu. And that Rafael Tuju explicitly told him that he should alter the results in favor of Raila Odinga. And he even had a financial offer of some sort to sweeten the deal. And to me, that's fine. In all honesty, that's Rafael Tuju. He's a politician himself, and we all know politicians will and deal. That is the nature of the game. I can't blame him. But the presence of Amos Wako, the former Attorney General of Kenya, was the one thing that caught my attention. Why is this the case? Not only because he's the former Attorney General of Kenya, but because he's the husband to Justice Philomena Mwilu. So how can she plead impartiality when she is a justice about to listen to a petition before her, yet her husband is willing and dealing in the middle of the night with one of the commissioners? And not just any commissioner, the chair, the big guy at the upper echelon of the IEBC. So how can we trust her to be impartial in her ruling? I'd argue she can't. And no one can tell us that Amos Wako was just there to escort Raphael Tuju and Mbobu. That is not the case. So what was the purpose of having the former Attorney General Amos Wako and Mbobu, who's a lawyer, present? Clearly, Raphael Tuju was anticipating a deal between himself and Wafula Chebukati, and he needed strong legal minds to do the paperwork, come up with the legal documents for both of them to sign, and maybe even Amos Wako and Mbobu would have been witnesses. Remember, this is a high-profile deal that can seal the presidency for Raila Odinga. So you cannot just show up with any lawyer or any attorney. Rafael Tuju chose to show up with a former attorney general so that that deal gets the respect that it deserves. And Mbobu was also there. I don't know how good a lawyer he is. I haven't interacted with him too much. But I do know that Amos Wako is a legal genius and a giant name along the legal corridors. So in my opinion, if proven... To be true, the presence of Amos Wako at Wafula Chebukati's residence at 3 a.m. with Rafael Tuju, in my opinion, is enough to get Philomena Mwilu to recuse herself from listening to the case that has been placed before her in the Supreme Court. But that is just my opinion. I'd really love to hear what you have to say about the matter, so do leave me a comment in the comment section below. I'll do my best to respond to as many comments as I can. Sometimes they can be many, but I'll just do my best to read as many and respond to as many as possible. Now, if you're here for the first time and you're yet to subscribe, please do so. If you're watching from a different platform, say maybe TikTok or Facebook, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Wafula. I'll be the first one to pop up, hit the subscribe button, and you're going to be getting a ton more content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel 
that you really need to subscribe to. Do have yourselves a great day. Adios.